Well, these developers had very high ambitions, but today a property that was supposed to be home to Midtown's next skyscraper was sold at auction. 11 Alive's Doug Richards was there and has more on what the sale says about the ups and downs of real estate in Atlanta. This vacant lot across from Atlanta's Four Season Hotel in Midtown was the headliner, but it's only one component in the ongoing saga of Atlanta's real estate churn. Okay, folks, this is a big one. There were three, sometimes four auctions underway simultaneously outside the Fulton County Courthouse on this first Tuesday of the month, an event mimicked on this day in counties across Georgia. We do require full amount. The priciest one could have passed almost unnoticed, the site of a gleaming luxury condominium skyscraper pitched for Midtown. It has gathered weeds instead as underwhelming buyer interest kept the tower from materializing. The winning bid from a bank was 40 million. This is the busiest it's been in six months. There's a lot out there right now. A lot of properties going in foreclosure right now because of the pandemic. Wendell Robinson says residential properties are driving demand that apart from skyscrapers, keeps real estate prices around Atlanta spiking upward. He says absentee investors are driving high prices and in many cases out of reach of budget-minded home buyers. Minimum bid, $9,813.16. Any bids? $75,000. $150. We watched one property price soar 20-fold within seconds. $200,000. $200,000 going once, twice, close to number 67. I bought a junkyard here four years ago or so, and... Um, Lucky you. And, <laughs> yeah, that's what my wife thought. Tariq Salida says even his Atlanta junkyard was a good real estate buy. There was about a 40% return on it. And uh, we find that if you pick the right location, you generally can't go wrong. What's unclear is what will actually happen with this property, a circumstance it happens to share with much of the real estate sold on the courthouse steps.